years ago, Waweru Niritu decided to help his wife set up a cosmetic business in Nairobi's central business district. She used to start them at home, so one of the bedrooms was actually our storage. Um, so she used to, she had just piles of products and every time, any time a customer bought a product, she used to start delivery from the house to where the client is. And over time, when your business starts growing, you realize, you know, it becomes unsustainable. So, yeah. Um, and that's what now necessitated for us to come and look for a shopping town. And that's when we realized it's a bit expensive. Someone looking to establish a business with premises in Nairobi's central business district immediately comes up against a long budget. There are two main categories of payment, the first being to the landlord or agent, who usually ask for goodwill payment and three months rent. Next, the local authority. In this case, the Nairobi City County Government will need a list of things paid for. These business permits, a signboard fee, a wall painting fee, a garbage dumping fee, a clearance certificate from fire department at the county government, which can cost between 4,500 and 25,000 shillings. The cost of the licenses and fees can go up to 50,000 shillings. These challenges hamper the growth of small and medium enterprises, which play a critical role in the economy. While they constitute 98% of all registered businesses in Kenya and employ 30% of the country's youth, 75% don't get to celebrate their third birthdays, with many of these deaths because of the often high cost of doing business. After Waweru and his wife had considered and paid up all the cost, they had learned a few lessons. Because we felt at that point rent was her biggest expense, we thought, you know, if we can reduce the cost of rent, she'll be able to run her business successfully. Uh, six months later, we realized, okay, cosmetics is do away with it. Now we realized we stumbled, we stumbled into something. We have something that has value in the marketplace. And so that's when we started now doing Notify Logistics. We registered as a company, we focused on space particularly, and it's been a learning experience. The concept behind what they do now is fairly simple. We decided to take a shop and what we do is we partition it into shelves. Um, then we allow for hundreds of businesses to co-share that space efficiently. So instead of owning the whole shop, you only take a shelf, uh, you pay for that shelf without really minding about the overheads of the, of the shop. So it's a fully serviced retail outlet. You only pay for your space, we provide the shop attendance, we provide the licenses, um, everything else has been catered for. You only stock in your shelf, put your products there. If they are, you know, you have a bit of products, you have extra storage for you to do, to, to store most of the products. The shelf acts as your display point. So that when customers come, you know, we give them a holistic shopping experience. If you want to buy shoes, we have, you know, tens of uh, businesses who are also selling, who are all selling shoes. So able to give the customer incredible, you know, choice. Um, making the shopping experience uh, better. It's 3,000 shillings on a monthly basis. For the spaces we have, you'd see, you know, we have places where we pay, in, you know, north of 200,000 shillings. But still, people pay 3,000 shillings. So you can imagine the price uh, difference is that it becomes affordable, it becomes a more efficient way of doing business. Naomi Mololo has taken space at the business. She sells clothes for men, women and children imported from Turkey. Today, she's here to check on her stocks. Naomi has never opened a physical shop and she heavily relies on social media to market her products, which are then delivered to buyers by Notify Logistics. They have made my work easier, uh, like especially on the delivery side. They help me with the deliveries, they package, they deliver to any part. It has made my work to be easier. I don't have to deliver to the clients daily. I don't have to come here. I just, if I get an order, I'll just send them the information and they'll pack. The client will also pay. So it has really helped to, to, to expand my business. I've got a lot of more time to work on marketing. I'm an economist by, by training. So there's a new concept called the sharing economy. Sharing economy is built up, uh, on, on one concept of efficiency. That if you're able to use the, uh, the resources more efficiently, we're able to, you can actually reduce the cost of acquiring of using that particular service or product significantly. 
while still making a decent profit of it. So what we do is we, um, we allow hundreds of small businesses to co-share one space. Um, and just by making it efficient for hundreds of people to be in one space without of it becoming a nuisance, we're able to one, reduce the cost because everyone pays for the space they are using. So you don't really care about the whole shop. Renting a shop is much expensive, mostly here in Nairobi, because uh, renting a shelf is easier and uh, cheaper. You can able to install your products there, they are safe. Then they have a, a, a lot of uh, assistance. They can able to sell it for you. And uh, you do other things on the other side. Any business wants to be a place where you're selling more. Um, that is the most fundamental truth for any business. What we offer small business is one, a place where you're able to leverage traffic for, from many other small businesses. You're not alone. The reason why uh, places like Komba are popular is because these are places where you find hundreds of people selling the same kind of product. And so they're able to drive in a more significant crowd than when you're in your own independent shop. What started as a quest for Waweru to find space in the CBD for his wife's business has now become a solution for hundreds of small businesses. He is now scouting for bigger spaces in different regions to expand his business and continue providing spaces for small businesses.